Today's project is throwing a pasta plate with a wide rim. In this video, I'm going to make a wide rimmed plate. This plate will decorate a dinner table very nicely. An everyday meal becomes visually more enjoyable. I use 1.7 kg buff stoneware clay. I'm making the clay into a cone shape so it has an even density. The edge of my right hand is pushing in and upwards and my left hand is receiving that force. So the clay goes up naturally. I put the skimmed clay back onto the surface with my right thumb. The base of both thumbs are kept at 45 degree angles, so I can avoid making a crater in the middle. My right hand is pushing towards 11 o'clock. I make sure the force is forward, not down. If I try to push down, the cone becomes a mushroom shape and the edge of the clay would be useless. After coning, I'm centering. My right arm is heavily anchored on the wheel tray and becomes a fulcrum. My right hand is receiving the force of my body weight. In this way, even a small person like me can manage the centering. If I try to do it just with my hand, the clay will never stay in the center. I'm pressing the clay from the center to the outside. Both my thumbs are interlocked. All the fingers of my left hand are keeping the clay edge in the right shape. I'm cleaning the surface with a wooden spatula before I start to open the center. I need it to be 18 cm wide. I press the center with my right middle finger and my left fingers are supporting to give extra force. So my middle finger can concentrate on navigating the opening. My middle finger is pulling the clay towards 6 o'clock. I press the excess clay back to the main part, then compress the bottom. I repeat this process until I reach the end. Again, this time the hole is bigger. So I use my three right fingers. The soft clay which came out from the pulling process shouldn't be trapped between the pulled up clay and main body. So I scrape it with my fingers and use this as throwing lubricant.
I'm compressing the bottom with a wooden spatula. The large flat bottom is easy to have an S crack, so it is better to compress well. I'm checking the internal size, which I want to make 15 cm. Now, before the first stretch, I make the wall an even thickness. My right ring finger is pushing hard at the bottom of the clay. Then, the middle and index fingers are firmly attached to it. My left middle finger is on the other side of the wall, receiving the force from the right hand and squeezing the wall at the same time. The connection of these two hands is a key point in putting the wall. I'm setting the gauge which I used for the first plate. In this drawing, my aim is to pull the wall up to the gauge point. Both my thumbs are interlocked. I'm going to straighten the wall with a wooden spatula. The wall should be straight, then the top of the wall needs to be touching the gauge point. In this way, the second plate's base structure is exactly the same as the first one. I'm making a line two fingers wide above the bottom. This line will be the folding point later. I'm marking eight points using a stick. These will be rough guide for cutting the edge. I'm using a wire bow to make an uneven edge and slicing the clay between the marks. I'm compressing the edge with a chamois leather. I'm pressing the wing part with the flat side of a wooden tool. My left hand is supporting the wing from the outside. My left index finger is supporting the folding part from the outside. I'm making a gentle corner. I'm going to make the wing as flat as possible because it will curl back during the drying process. So I need to press down more than I want the final shape to be. I'm finishing with the chamois leather. I'm making a guide for cutting with string.
After the rim becomes leather hard, I flip the plate upside down to dry the bottoms. To protect the wings from the drying too fast, I cover them with a plastic sheet. Now they are ready for trimming. First, I check the bottom thickness. Now I'm checking the bottom size, which should be 14 cm. Then I want to trim the foot ring 1 cm smaller than the internal bottom size. I'm securing the plate position with three pieces of clay. The clay has to be pushed down to the wheel first, then gently attached to the plate, otherwise the wing part will be easily distorted. I mark the circle roughly 13 cm wide. I want to make a foot ring 1 cm smaller than the internal bottom edge. My left middle finger is pressing the plate to give it extra steadiness. My left thumb is connected to my right thumb to help control. I'm taking a clay from the corner. The internal shape of this part is curved, so I imagine it following that curve. I'm trimming straight down from the foot ring mark. Then I reshape the curve. Now I'm trimming the inside of the foot ring. I trim the circles first. Then I scrape the top part of the circles using the flat part of the loop tool. In this way, I can easily keep an even flat surface. I'm cleaning the foot ring edge to finalize the thickness of the foot ring. Now outside of the foot ring. I'm polishing the surface with a plastic kidney. It is good practice to polish the foot ring especially, as this part is easy to chip. Also the bottom, which could have an S 
crack problem. I dry the plate upside down to keep the edge flat and even.